Hello and welcome to Megawatt News, I'm Katie Scott. In the headlines today, the BBC announces ambitious archive plan, the first prepaid 3G iPhone pricing is revealed, the Motorola Rock RE8 lands in the UK, Mozilla confirms its Firefox 3 download day, and Google co-founder says, fly me to the moon. BBC is planning on putting all of its programmes, past and present, in a massive online archive. The corporation is planning on creating a web page for every episode of every single programme ever broadcast on the BBC. So that's an astonishing 81 years of radio and TV. And it'll all be searchable. But aside from that, we don't know how the programmes will be delivered, namely whether this mammoth project will become an iPlayer extension, part of Project Kangaroo, more details of which are available on Pocket Lint, or perhaps a whole new venture. But you'll have the details when we do. So, OK, we've had 3G iPhone stories galore, but here's one for our compatriots in Italy. Vodafone may be just one of many offering the new phone in the country, but has well and truly stolen the limelight by being the first phone operator in the world, no less, to reveal a prepaid pricing deal. So if you go for the no contract option, you can expect to pay around 499 euros for the 8 gigabyte model and 569 euros for the 16 gigabyte version. For us Brits, this converts to around 395 and 450 quid respectively. No pay-as-you-go pricing in the UK as yet, but O2 customers can get their mitts on the new model for precisely nothing, which is a bit more like it. Motorola last night had the UK launch of its latest mobile phone, the Rocker E8, which, as the name suggests, has a focus on music. Stuart Miles went down to find out what all of the fuss is about. We're here at the UK launch of the Motorola Rocker E8, a music-dedicated device from Motorola. What do you get? Well, you get this mode-shifting technology, according to Motorola, which basically allows you to display different characters when you're doing different functions. We've got it showing the number pad. If I press the camera button, it goes to uh, the camera functions. All the numbers disappear. And if we come back out of that and go to music, it shows off different buttons altogether. The device is haptic. It's only 2G rather than 3G, but it does come with 2 gig in the box, a 3.5 mil headphones jack, and a 2 megapixel camera. Available from today, it's on O2 and Orange, although Vodafone and T-Mobile customers will have to wait. Mozilla's new super-duper browser, Firefox 3, is going live on the 17th of June. The day has been deemed download day by Mozilla's team, who are urging fans to hold Firefox theme parties worldwide. And they are also hoping to break the Guinness World Record for the most software downloads in one day when the new release goes live. Over a million people have already pledged online to get involved, and so it's just a case of counting down to download day, then counting up the Mozilla masses. So you're the co-founder of one of the most successful web businesses ever in the history of, well, web businesses. You've got a shed load of money, and you've bought pretty much everything you could ever want. So what do you do? Well, if you're Sergey Brin, co-founder of Google, you buy yourself a seat on a Russian spacecraft. For a mere $35 million, Brin is going galactic on the first private space flight to the International Space Station, set for 2011. Brin describes himself as a big believer in the exploration and commercial development of the space frontier. So, from cyberspace to outer space, and the prospect of little grey men Googling. Anyone reckon Bill Gates or Jerry Yang might be soon buying a ticket too? Those were the biggest stories of the day. Join us tomorrow for the Tech Week in View, our rundown of what's happened this week and what we think of it. Thanks for watching.